Hello and welcome back. How is everybody? Hope you're all okay. If anybody's been interested in following my progress, you may have noticed I've been cutting a lot of copper recently. Like these. These are from a 50mm bar and I can't get any bigger in this country. I have to send off to China or Germany and it gets very expensive. So I decided if I couldn't use copper bar, I use copper sheet. But I had the same problem. I can only get three millimeter copper sheets when I really need six. So I'm going to have to stick two pieces of copper sheet together. Because if you want six millimeter copper sheet, you have to go to China and the postage is very expensive. So the most eco economical way there we go, is to use two layers of copper sheet. So I need something to cut that with. I've got a very fancy hole saw. So that's today's video. Cutting copper sheet with a hole saw. I need to set that up. But in between then, I've picked up another job. My brother wants a bigger hole drilling in this. So for the first test, we're going to drill into a coconut. <laughs> Let's see how we get on. Well, I can honestly say this is the weirdest thing I've ever had in the milling machine. Can anybody beat it? I'd be very interested to know that one. <laughs> this is the tool for your coconut now. No messing. Definitely no prisoners now. Right, we're getting to the exciting bit now. Coconut cut, test one. Well, that was actually tougher than I was expecting. It's a good half an inch thick. I thought it'd only be about an eighth. Anyway, that's our job done. What a lovely bird is, gonna be a nice nest in there now. So let's get back to the main video. Cutting copper plate. Let's hope it's easier than doing a coconut. <sighs> Things you do when you're a bodger. Okay, let's move on to the coconut. I'll tell you what though, for some reason I fancy a bounty, I don't know why. Let's mount the copper plate in the milling vise. I need to put a block there to raise it up because I want to protect the bottom of the vise. I don't want it to get damaged. So that's important. And before you ask, I bought it like that from the car boot sale. I think I paid about £30, which is quite a lot of money. But I've never seen one since, or one before. Okay. Okay. 
Looks about right. I think because it's got a really noisy burn in here, I may do the cutting scene to a little bit of music to save your ears. <laughs> I'm glad you missed it. <sighs> Success. Right, let's make another one. about right Well, the second cut wasn't any better. There's was loads of vibration. 
In fact, there was that much vibration, all the tools on the garage wall were rattling and my teeth were hurting. <laughs> this possibly could have been the most stupid idea yet, and that's saying something. But we've got two discs, and they're certainly bigger than that one. Only just, but just enough. Let's super glue them two together and see if we can just make them a little bit cleaner. <sighs> My bleeding ears. <laughs> 